Alright guys, I'm going to be showing you how to install the new updated version of Jelly Bam on your Galaxy Note 2. Now this is the AT&T variant, so keep that in mind in case you want to flash this. Now this ROM will work on the T-Mobile version as well, so you don't have to worry about that. But if you're on Sprint or Verizon, don't recommend flashing this. So the first thing you're going to want to do is head on over to the link in the description for the unofficial Jelly Bam build. Now this was updated yesterday on the 13th. Now, the only thing you're really interested in this thread, I do recommend reading it, of course, but is the download link right there. And if you scroll down to the second post, you'll see a change log. Now, the change log is what I always pay attention to because it's kind of important. And what I see that interests me is the 4.2 camera, the 4.2 keyboard and clock. It now has working Bluetooth, and the CM flashlight works. And everything else still works from the previous build, so it's still an awesome ROM and see I already downloaded it right there Jelly Bam for the i317 which is the AT&T Galaxy Note 2 so what you're going to want to do is reboot into recovery if you don't know how to reboot into recovery then yeah you probably shouldn't have rebooted your phone in the first place um, I recommend backing up your apps with titanium backup that is the app that I always use I actually just backed up my apps and my extended battery was dying after like three days so kind of had to go back to the regular battery for this and it will boot into our recovery team win now in the thread he does recommend using team win so that's why I am and hmm, kind of goes all the way up to the restore for some reason hit the home button alright so the depth doesn't really say wipe anything but the syst like factory reset and also wipe the system so you don't really have to wipe anything else unless you want to so go back wipe system don't take too long go back go back it's a reach I got this oh. alright and then you're gonna go to your downloads folder or wherever you downloaded this actually Let's see if I can get this in here and you see I downloaded it on my external SD card I'm going to install the Jelly Bam for i3 well, I got two I want the 113 which is the second one you see right there make sure this is the zip that you want to flash focus alright and we're going to swipe to install now this does include the G apps so you do not have to flash those separately so that's just a little heads up that's probably why you should read the thread also because that's what I did on Kill ROM. I installed the uh, G apps. <laughs> and it, the G apps were already installed. I felt so stupid. I made the video and everything after the video was up. It said that the G apps were included, so I was like, you should probably put that in the description. But it was also 4 a.m. in the morning when I was installing that, so just a little heads up. Don't mess with your phone when you are half asleep. Oh, and also make a backup of your current ROM. Like, I made a backup of Jedi X8 because if if I want to use a TouchWiz ROM for say in like a day or so, I can just restore that. And if I want to go back to an AOSP ROM, I can just restore this like without any issues. It takes like three minutes to restore a ROM and boot up, so you're good. Just it's almost like dual booting, but not as fast. So just back up your current TouchWiz ROM install this back this up go back to touch with then go back to this you just have to restore it that boot animation doesn't even fit the screen that kinda sucks I wish it fit the screen I'm, I'm gonna be installing a different one anyways but hmm, it works I guess no I'm not gonna make you guys sit through this entire boot animation I probably should though this is a pretty cool looking rocket ship android thing. What is that? Is he? It's so small, I gotta, gotta bring it in a little bit. So, I mean, it's, he's like a rocket ship, like... Where's his arms and legs? Sorry for my hands being so shaky. I had like five monsters earlier. And that was actually a really quick boot up. So, let's just go ahead and hit start. I'm not going to sign in right now. Not now. Mm. Google can always stalk me. I trust them. 
You don't need to know my name. You already know my name. Well, you know the Forge U is working. See the little H plus icon at the top. Let's see if it, there we go. See a little H, well, HSPA plus is working anyways. 3G is working. HSPA is working. I, I got to go like 20 minutes down the road in order to get 4G LTE, so can't really test that here, but you know, all right. Got to refocus in everything. So that's nice that it includes the Trebuchet launcher and it also includes the TouchWiz launcher. Which one do you guys want to see first? Let's go check out the TouchWiz launcher. Hit OK. So that's pretty nice that they do include the TouchWiz launcher. I hate the startup stuff. Gotta go away. Um, so let's check out the Trebuchet. I'm assuming this is just regular. Yeah, this is just regular CM. Nothing wrong with that. Pretty nice launcher. So I got the same startup stuff. So we have Apollo Music. We do have the Android 4.2 camera. Now this ROM is based on Android 4.1. Just a heads up. We do have the CM File Manager. We got some search thingy. We have Task Manager. We have Torch. Oh, I love Torch. This is like the best app ever. Um. There we go. A little bit of lag there. Go into settings, and I I hate the dual panel layout. I honestly do. I'm gonna change this. So let's go into about phone. You see, we are running on Android 4. Point, probably can't see it actually. See, we are running on Android 4.1.2. This is a custom kernel, and see our Jilly Bam AOKP CM info. So let's bring this back out. Now, you can change this to where it's not the dual panel layout. You just got to go into the paranoid Android settings and like change the DPI and stuff like that. So that's just a little heads up. It's not that hard to do actually. It's, it's pretty easy. If you want to check out the 4.2 camera, see if it works. Remember? Sure. Do we have Photosphere? Nah, boo. That kind of sucks. I don't like the AOSP camera anyways, but figured I'd show you guys. Put on the quick menu. So we do have the CM and AOKP toggles, so that's pretty nice. What I don't really like though is that you know, it's on Android 4.2 you get the little quick settings. I really wish they'd fix the audio, that'd be pretty nice. And Seth, I was on Jilly Band before, I know this isn't, this is kind of like my first look, or whatever it's called. This is my install video and first look, let's go with that. But I want to show you guys how fast this phone boots up. Jelly Bam, it takes like 10 seconds to boot up. It is insanely fast. If it's the same as the last version of Jelly Bam anyways. See? Bam! That is that is fast. That is, yeah. Boom. So I'm going to go install all my apps, theme the crap out of this phone. If you guys want to see any more videos on this, I'll be doing my review, I guess. You can call it that. In a few days or so, I do have a project due in my chemistry class, so it won't be till after that because that's kind of important. It's like 200 points in my grade. But if you guys want to see any more videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next video.